Well hello and welcome to Aberhold Junction and today I show you how I go from this flat packed bit of cut out MDF into a fully functional curved arch bridge. Enjoy the show. Okay so what you'll need for this build is pretty straightforward and um, the only thing I'm not showing here is the paints but obviously you'll need the paint at the end to put it all together um, but yeah all you need or, or I'll all I use even is some basic wood glue, some masking tape for the initial phase of putting it together and also assisting where the clamps don't do the job like on the top for example um, and then a bunch of clamps. Um, you can never have too many clamps. <laughs> yeah so I've got seven or eight clamps there. Mix of big and small but to be honest small would be sufficient for this they need to have about a four inch um span to get across the bridge the base and the the side pieces so yeah a bunch of clamps masking tape wood glue and obviously the pack yeah very straightforward don't need a hammer it's just there to hold things down okay so i've had the this arch um this bridge in masking tape now hold it together for about two days so hopefully now the side pieces will have taken on a nice curve which when I come to do the glue in means it'll all go together a lot easier so let's glue it together and I'll show you that process now okay so first things first let's get rid of all this masking tape um, apologies if uh, I get in the way of the light I've only got one light source in the shed. Let's get all this masking tape off. Cut the fast forward mode, I think. Go, go, go. Yeah, so as you can see, there is some natural memory to this MDF, but I'm hoping this masking tape process will have encouraged it to become a bit more bendy than it was when it became came in the flat pack packaging. Now as you can see then I'll show you, you see that on the camera can you? Yes good. So you can see it's taken on a bit of the curve from the base. Um, drop it. And then the other arch, which is the inside or the shorter, tighter radius, you can see that's even more curved. So, yeah, quite pleased with how those turned out, and I'm hoping that'll help significantly in the um, in the gluing up and the clamping process. So, without further ado, let's get gluing. I'm using Evo Sticks wood glue. Um, got this from B and Q. It's nothing special. Um, I'm not going to use a brush. It's quite a handy nozzle on this thing, which is, I think, going to be perfect to spread quite nicely like this across the uh, the surface of this MDF. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is glue up both sides quite liberally in terms of spreading the wood glue around. I glue up both sides. Um, I'll glue up a little bit on the base, um, just where these support pieces go in. Uh, let me show you on the actual base here. These actual little notches that you can see sticking out there, they're the things that actually engage with the side panel. So I'll make sure that I glue up those as well, because I think if, if I get all those glued properly, then the majority of this other surface glue in is, is almost secondary. You probably find the thing could hold just from the uh, just from those locations. Okay. Right, let's time lapse this so you don't have to get bored watching me glue in, glue in, glue in, glue in. I really wish I had a separate workbench for this stuff, but the wires kicked me out of the kitchen, so that's not going to happen. So, um, oh, that's what you shouldn't talk the camera for. Don't do what I just did. The, 
the face obviously that makes up with the base on the tight radius is the the inside um <laughs> not the one i just started gluing i have to take all that glue off now little rag okay so get this face done which is the right face so we should never talk to camera making sure to hit the bits where the little almost like biscuits come through from the from the base dowels all right that looks good yes so that face is going to marry to that surface there yeah don't do what i just did okay so with those two side pieces done now i'm just as i said going to glue each of these five almost like biscuits that go through the side pieces and make the good connection. Come on, glue. There we come. There we go. There we go. Again, I'm not using a brush or anything fancy here. I'm just getting the glue on onto the onto the MDF. Okay, last one for that side. And then this side. Right, so with all of those surfaces glued, now comes the really awkward bit, <laughs> which is trying to make sure this all goes together <laughs> properly, which is going to be a challenge. Okay, so there's five points of contact to to line up. Okay, get in there, come on. There we go. Right, started in the middle. If you can see that properly, let's go, let's go over there. Okay, so I started in the middle. And I'm gonna get the both the inside and the outside done if I can here at the same time. It is a little tricky, I've got to be honest. But, okay, so that's the two central pieces done. What I'm gonna do, just to assist me somewhat, is get a clamp on there. And eventually I'll come back and remove some of the excess glue so it doesn't, uh, doesn't cause the clamp to actually get stuck to the the bridge. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Right, I think that's in place. And now it's just a case of getting Gonna try and get this end on. Okay, that ends on good. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you can see there, just got a clamp on that end one. That middle one's coming off. There we go. Tighten that up a bit further. Okay, I'm gonna get one by here. Put it the other side. That way. Final 
to them. This is going to take some encouraging. Let's get the other one done first. Alright, that's in place. These are very hefty clamps, so I tried to go easy on the, uh, the pressure that I put on them. Okay, and then the final thing to go on. It's just this end one now. So let's encourage this into place. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, so hopefully you got a good look at that quite fiddly trying to get the angles and everything done for the uh, for the time lapse so you guys can see everything so what I'm going to do is just remove some of that excess glue now make sure that the clamps the clamp faces will come away from the bridge post the glue dry and I don't want the clamps to dry onto the onto the glue but yeah that's it it's taken me about 10 minutes and that's with filming and fanning around and stuff so it's a very well it's a relatively easy process what I do just to finish it off I, I take a look and as you can see here it's quite useful actually to shine a light from the other side um, but you can see there's little gaps there so what I'm going to do is take a look and whenever I see those gaps I'm just going to pinch up the clamps and I'll also add a few more clamps just to ensure that all the faces are mated together properly and of course the last thing i need to put in is the top pieces here which i'll show you right now so the pack includes um three support struts that go up the top one in the middle and two either side the middle one's pretty robust the ones at the side they're a little flimsier to be honest so don't put too much pressure on them now to get these bits installed they just pop out there's not much unlike plastic pieces there doesn't tend to be much sprue if you like left on the uh on the piece you're going to install which is good and if there is just quickly file or sand it off i found with this model in particular everything's fairly clean and you can always sand it or file it once it's actually on the piece anyway okay bit of glue now just on the pieces that are going to go through the bridge i'm not going to overdo this because i mean i know in theory these should be holding the top arch of the the bridge parallel but i think on this model to be honest that doesn't happen so i'm not going to overdo overdo the glue I'm just going to go up just the strut and then I'm going to just put it offset and then I'm going to force the top part. don't know if you can see that particularly well. I just force the top. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I'm going to end in tears. Force the top of the bridge apart and squeeze together. I mean, really couldn't be more straightforward. So that's the one. I'll try and film. One of the smaller ones now. Uh, I'll film it as I'm putting it on for you to see how I actually just splay the top part of the arch a little bit so it uh, there's room for these struts to go in. So yeah I just put, let's do this left-handed, put the, the one side in and then just push in gently, extending out then the top arch on the other side and bring those into place. What I'll do 
before I put this to bed tonight, is I measure across each of these and just using a bit of masking tape, I'll make sure that everything stays parallel at the top. Um, I don't think it's a particular issue, um, but I will do that just as belts and braces. Okay, so the final strut now to go in place, quick bit of glue, very, as I said, simple process. Do the other side. A bit more for luck. And then slide it in the one side. Locate it there. There we go. And then as it comes across, it just pushes it out a little bit. And Bob's your uncle. You saw then the flex. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that well on the camera? Yeah, anyway, so these are probably double the matchstick width thickness, but yeah, they do they do splay. So um yeah, just don't don't be too forceful with your big chubby fingers. Okay, so that's all that in place. I'll get some masking tape on it now. I'll triple check that there's no gaps. I think it looks pretty good, but I'll just triple check, get some masking tape in place, and then that's it set up. All right, folks, I'm conscious this video is getting a bit long. So to keep all you youngsters <laughs> interested with your really short attention spans, I'm going to break this video into two parts. Um, so this has been the installation video. And the second part will be how I made it look like this. So from this bit of wood to something which I look, think looks pretty good. Um, join me for the next one. And I'll keep that one under seven minutes, I promise. Um, it will be out next week, which is the 22nd, 23rd, if I make that right. Yeah, so please uh, join me then. And you can see the transformation in seven minutes. Cheers. Bye-bye.